Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. So I'm just going to create my first Photoshop tutorial, which I'm going to post on this channel. Um, so I'm going to make this tutorial in Photoshop CS5 Extended. Uh, basically, it's going to be right here, this little animation. We've got basically 3D text rotating around, uh, which you can use on, for example, as a watermark on your videos. Um, so you can use it for a ton of different stuff. I mean, it's up to you for what you're using it. But we're going to create this 3D rotating text. And uh, again, this only works in the extended version of Photoshop CS5. Uh, if you don't have CS5, you can go ahead and download 30-day trial of Adobe's website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go ahead and download the 30-day 30, 30 trial. So uh, we're just going to start a new document here in Photoshop. So just open Photoshop and uh, click File. New. So I recommend at least having some basics in Photoshop before doing this tutorial. Uh, otherwise, it might be get a little confusing. But I'm gonna try and make it as simple as possible. Um, so here you can choose the size of your documents. So I'm just gonna make it 900 by 500. But then again, it depends for what you're going to use it, how big you want to make it, and stuff like that. I'm gonna have it a resolution of 200 pixels per inches. You can have it at 72, for example, if you're just gonna use it for videos. Um, it doesn't need to be really high, but I'm just going to make it 200, so it gets a nicer resolution there. So just click OK once you're done. And it's going to open your window with a blank background. We've got our new document. Um, so in the Layers palette, which is in the lower right, if you haven't noticed yet, um, right here, uh, you have your background, which is basically the blank background we have with a lock. That means you can't edit it, basically. Uh, so just double-click the layer and click OK and it will remove the lock so it can be editable but we're not going to use this layer anyway so um, just go ahead and create a new layer by clicking the new layer button um, and go ahead and take your text tool because we're going to make the text on this layer so uh, take your text tool right here and choose your font or your size and stuff like that especially what you want to do so I'm just going to write M4C book since that's the channel I'm going to post this video on uh, and then uh, you can make it whatever font you want so um, whatever font you want here you can go ahead and use it so uh, I might well I think I'm going to use um, the one I just had which is the Abobe it's not a default font um, Abode I'm sorry uh, I'll put a, a post a link in the description if this font is free uh, it's called Abode so A B O D E um, so I'm just going to use this font for now uh, you can go ahead and use whatever font it works with it whatever font uh, if it's really um, really in complex fonts really uh, like with a lot of details it might get your the process might get slower and stuff like that so uh, I recommend avoiding that but that's up to you and then as well it depends on what computer you're using so um, once you got your text ready you can go ahead and edit your text if you want to or just keep it simple and black like that uh, I'm just gonna give it a simple gradient overlay uh, but that's up to you what your text what you want your text to be. Um, so you can just apply patterns or whatever you want, change the colors, uh, but I just uh, added a simple gradient. So once you got your text ready to make it 3D, um, in CS5 it's really easy to go to the 3D pane even though you won't need it, but I'm just going to say this. Uh, so right now we're in the essentials and you have those different workspaces here as well as the, if you continue here, you have the 3D workspace. Um, so you have all your 3D tools here to make a handy use of those. So once you've got your text and the text layer selected, you want to go to 3D and repousse, which is French for repushed. Um, so you want to go ahead and select text layer. So right here, just going to warn you that it's going to rasterize the text. So you just say yes, and it's going to come up with the repousse window. There you go. Um, so once now you can see your text became 3D and you got your repousse window with a lot of option in 3D so you can see that all the little corners and stuff like that are jagged but uh, that will change once you render your lettering so don't worry about that uh, for now uh, so you can go ahead and you, they have some cool presets here you can use um, or just none or stuff like that I mean you can go ahead and use whatever preset you want wish to use I'm just going to use uh, no preset for now just to keep it simple but you can change all the depth and stuff uh, I'm going to make the depth a little different though I'm gonna make uh, change it to 0.5 because it's a bit far away now and um, 
since you're going to be rotating this text in 3D, uh, you might want to not have it too deep because otherwise it might be hard to read if it's really deep and you're going to make it rotate. So uh, I'm even going to make it 0.3 uh, in depth. So that's it. I'm done basically with my text layer right here. Uh, if you want to change, you can go ahead and change whatever you want here. <coughs> so we got our 3D text. So just click OK once you're done. Um, it's gonna think. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so now you got your 3D text ready. Um, if you want to see it in 3D, you can go ahead and use the 3D uh, tools here. Uh, if you got your 3D tools, this is the 3D rotating object, so it just rotates the text as you see uh, in 3D space. So you can rotate it in whatever angle you wish to want it, to wish to rotate it. So I'm just gonna keep it like this, front facing. Uh, and right here now we are going to make an animation so to do that you will go to the workspace here uh, motion um, and it will bring up a timeline and this is basically where you're gonna make the video <coughs> so select the layer your text is on so this is the M4 Civic layer um, <coughs> sorry for my voice there and uh, just click on the little triangle to uh, get all the options and uh, right here you got your timeline where you can change position, opacity, style and uh, what we're interested in is the 3D options here so you wanna go ahead and um, since we're gonna make this rotating uh, we're gonna rotate this text uh, we're going to click on the little clock in the 3D object position since we're going to change the position and once you're gonna click on that it's going to automatically set a keyframe so this little uh, squares here or yellow things uh, are the keyframes and uh, that basically uh, sets uh, the position for each frame so uh, yep so now this is the position for your first frame which is basically just front and you wanna go ahead and go a little bit further for example at three seconds um, and ch now you can go ahead and take the um, object rotate tool and go ahead and rotate it however you want to rotate it so I'm just going to slowly make it rotate this way right like this and right here it's going to automatically set a keyframe once you change the position and what is basically this going to do is once it at, it's at this keyframe it's going to look like this so and once this is the beginning and it's slowly going to turn like this so if I just show you a quick example here um, Finish press space is going to automatically start playing and as you see it's slowly rotating right now it's in slow motion because of the rendering so it takes a little bit uh, to render <coughs> but um, right here if you want to see it in fill speed this is going to be the fill speed so as you see well it's still kind of laggy right now but um, it's going to be a little bit faster once it's done um, and so now we turned it basically one way and I want to go ahead and make it turn a whole circle so right now it's like this and we want uh, to go about three or two uh, seconds later and rotate it again so I'm just gonna rotate it till it's about this that's automatically gonna set a keyframe like last time and um, right now what you want to do basically is if you want to go and repeat the rotating text you want it to go to the same position every time um, so the trick is to uh, get this uh, to get it back to exact the same position as the beginning so you can go ahead and loop it around so how are you going to do that uh, you can just go ahead and continue doing the things we were doing so basically rotating the text so I'm just going to rotate it once more So it's going to basically do two circles, so I'm just going to make, I don't know, something like this, uh, which looks kind of more 3D. And then you want to go ahead and a um, few seconds later, so for example at 9 seconds, you want to go ahead and go to the first keyframe and right click it and say copy keyframes, and then right click it again and say paste keyframes. So what is this going to do? It's going to take this keyframe and paste it right here where the, the timer was. So you're going to have see, your text rotating, rotating around and then it's going to rotate back to the position it was before 
and then it's going to loop like that so you can go ahead and continue looping it. Um, so that's basically how you do the 3D text animation. Um, so what it basically does now, if I give you a quick example of how it's going to rotate, I'm just going to start it to make it render here. Um, so it's going to rotate like that way and it's going to continue rotating and then it's going to rotate back all the way where you were at the beginning so I make it rotate twice and then it just goes ahead and loop it but you can go ahead and loop it later on but right now it's just to the starting position so you can loop it as much as uh, how often you want it so that's up to you so right now you just need to create the movie basically um, so you can go ahead and change the canvas size to about the size of the letters but I'm just going to leave it like this uh, I'm just going to remove the background because I want to do uh, this to be transparent for example if you're going to use it as a watermark uh, you want it to be transparent so be sure to remove the background layers so you only have the text basically so once you got your little animation with the, your text rotating around in the way you want it to rotate um, so you got everything set up and all you need to do is render the video um, so uh, just before I start talking about the rendering uh, just one thing I want to mention if you want to make it a little more fancy you can add a light um, by going into the 3d scene panel and then check, uh, taking the light tab and then you can go ahead and say for example new spotlight and it will pop up a new spotlight you can go ahead and move it around in any way you want it to move um, so um, I'll be sure to take your light though select your light and then only do it um, so I'm just not going to go into the lights in this uh, tutorial um, I'm just going ahead and do the simple uh, rendering and stuff like that without any lights for now and I'll make getting into lights uh, in another tutorial so how do you want to export this or at least render it uh, to have it in a nicer quality you want to go to file and then export and then render video uh, this will pop up a, a new window and here you want to say where you want to save it to and how do you want to call it obviously so I'm just going to see it, say uh, row tate and then text um, and then the folder you want to save it to so I'm just going to save it to my desktop and you're going to even even you have even more options here in what subfolders and stuff like that but uh, for the file options you want to go ahead and go to the settings uh, obviously qu um, select here quick time movie and uh, if you go to the settings you'll have oops sorry about that if I can get my settings back there you go um, so once you go into the settings here um, you got your movie settings, video, sound, and um, prepare for internet streaming. So that's for most of the video editing software on a Mac. You'll have always this little window. So you don't want the sound, obviously, since we didn't even add any sound. So you can just uncheck that. And uh, if you go to the settings, um, right here you have a few options. Uh, if you do not want the transparency of the background, if it's just a simple video, uh, I recommend the compression type, setting it to H.264 and then setting it to best and um, multi-pass but since we want a uh, transparent background so we want the alpha channel to be included so uh, you can rotate it on top of the video on top of an image uh, on top of anything but it just the background is transparent um, you want to go ahead and render it as an animation so right here we got animation and you want to go ahead and set the frame rate to the current frame rate which is probably uh, 30 frames a second since Photoshop automatically sets it to 30 frames a second. Uh, the keyframes you can just leave it as it is, uh, that doesn't really matter, or just put it to automatic. And um, the quality, I would recommend obviously setting it to high if you want the best quality. Uh, so just drag that to high. So that's basically it for the um, uh, video settings. Uh, the sound, as I said, we didn't add any sound and then prepare for interest internet streaming. Uh, just put that to fast start, uh, that doesn't really matter. So once you did that, uh, you got all your options set up, and um, you can even make it an image sequence, which is basically it's gonna do an image for each frame and stuff like that. Uh, but we're just gonna keep it to a movie because uh, we want this to rotate smoothly and stuff. And then all this, you do not really need to change anything here. Um, so you want to the alpha channel, just leave it to straight and mat it, and um, 
finished, you can go ahead and leave the frame rate to 30 frames a second. And then just click render. It's going to take a, a bit to render here uh, the video. So that's it for my 3D rotating text tutorial with Photoshop CS5. Uh, I hope it helped some people. So here's my results. Uh, so here you'll have the movie. Um, so right here it looks like it's really ugly and not 3D at all, right? Uh, well, that's at least for me it looks like that. Um, but that's because, um, well, I had a gradient and stuff and um, it was almost black and the background is also black right now. Uh, so right now it doesn't look so great right here, but if I'll show you on top of video, as you see right now in the video, I've got it on and that's the exact same file we made in this tutorial. So right here as you see it looks way better. Uh, and you can go ahead and loop that around, so I looped it twice here. Um, and as you see it goes all the way twice and then back two times. Um, so I mean that's up to you how you want to rotate it. Uh, you can go rotate it as much as you want to. Um, so that's it for the store. I hope that helps some people. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below or send me an email at uh, editing at m4cbook.com or just, you know, whatever email you have down there in the description or it should be somewhere. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my forum and my website, m4cbook.com and forum.m4cbook.com where a lot of tech enthusiasts uh, chat. So uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. As I already said, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.